Well, here we are in Dublin Airport. We've arrived at the Irish UFO Research Centre a long time. We've got three main interviews to do here. It's very important. We're going to get down to the work. We've got a lot of, about three days of hard work to do here in Dublin. Some important stuff to do. That's it for now. Irish UFO Research Centre 2016 is back in business. Irish abductee Jerry Battles. In December 2001, Irishman Jerry Battles had contact with extraterrestrial beings. He wasn't able to recall the memories after the event occurred. However, several weeks later, a friend of Jared found his jacket on the roof of the local hospital in Limerick. When he came to ask Jerry how his jacket came to this place, Jerry started to get flashbacks. In this interview, he gives a detailed list of his experiences and an account of an ominous warning, an extinction level event that is impending on humanity's future. On the 26th of December 2001, I was out observing the heavens and it was a beautiful frosty night. We had several nights of frost, continuous frost. It was so beautiful and the stars were awash in the heavens. But it wasn't the stars of the moon that caught my attention. It was bright, brilliant, bright, surgical white light on the ground that caught my attention. And I went to examine what it was, and I climbed over a gate, and I got, as I got nearer to it, that was all I can remember. The next thing I woke up, and I was in this strange room with about 40 or more other people. I was the only one that was awake. The rest of them were standing still, like they were in a trance. And the man next to me was in his late 60s. He wore a, a trench coat and matching hat and glasses, and he had a neatly trimmed beard. And there was about, I would say I was about first in the evening to be collected because I was in the back row, extreme left, and there was about six, seven rows of about seven to eight people in each row. And there was a good mix of age brackets. There was my middle age and elderly, and the most majority was ever teenagers. But I couldn't move, I, I, just my head, I could turn and, and all, of a sudden, I was raised up off the floor, and I just floated out of that room and into this other room. But as I was turning when I got to the opening, I could see back into the room, and that was when I got the view of all the people, a good view of uh, about how many was there. And when I got to this other place, it was quite dark. And when my eyes had adjusted to the lack of light, I, I could see there was a giant dome-shaped huge place and it was totally glass. You could see 360 degrees all around and overhead. And when I adjusted to the light, I could see in the centre there was this giant pole and in, elevated on top of the pole there was this seed kind of a structure about three foot and inside, on the sitting down, on this control seat, there was this real extra terrestrial, the real ET as I call him, or her, I'm not sure. But uh, the first words spoken to me frightened the life out of me because it was inside my head. I, I, I jumped and he says to me, I am c communicating directly with your brain. And the first words after that he said to me is, you are not terrified like all the others. And I said, no, I am not. Should I be? And he said, no. And straight away he says, what would you like to see? I didn't have a clue. I was so in awe looking at him and he, how ginormous his eyes were and how big his head was because all I could see was, was the head. He was nine or ten feet up in the air. And uh, I, 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 I was panicking at this stage, and all I, all I shouted out was the North Pole. And he gave a command, and like an instant, we were gone through space, 
It's like driving through a, a blizzard at 500 miles an hour. And I thought of the Star Wars program as a young fella with the zoom. And all of a sudden, we were parked in space. And outside was planet Earth. And oh my God, it's with me forever. You could see the planet and the polar caps. Oh, sweet Jesus. It was unreal. I was there and in awe, as I say. And he started talking to me. And he says, you have come a long way in such a short space of time, but your time is running out. In 850 years from now, a giant asteroid the size of Munster is going to obliterate your planet Earth. This asteroid will approach your planet from the 35th quadrant. Every one of your governments knows we exist, but still they refuse to tell you. Every one of we are 400 million light years more advanced than you are. We have been observing you for millennia. In all that time, all you have excelled at are two things, global warfare and lying to your species. You are going to have a global financial meltdown. It has already started. It is the beginning of the end. If you do not change your ways, you are all going to go the same way as the dinosaur. Every one of your governments has been lying to you from day one. They are still lying to you today. You can never trust them. You must never trust them. Every one of the banks has been lying to you from day one. They are still lying to you today. You must never trust them because they have a hidden agenda. I can, it's not easy for me to put it in, in, in sequence because it's the way things are happening. I don't know. I, I, that is the most I can think of at the one time. Then the other things started happening to me, but, but I have no idea the amount of time that passed in between, if you know what I'm trying to say. It, it's, it's not easy. But, uh, there was, they put this device on my head, and it, he said to me, in fairness now, they, they said, it's going to hurt. They offered to put me out, but I said, no, I want to be able to remember it. And he said, but it's going to hurt. I said, I don't care. So they put this thing on my head. And it was a nice snug fit. And it started to warm up. It got warmer and warmer. And it got so bloody hot that I screamed and roared. And I, I must have passed out because that, that is all I can remember. But there's other things then, as I say, I, they were at different times. He, he says to me, he says, look out and what do you see? I says, I see nothing. So he gives a command and all of a sudden, right just outside, there's other spacecraft around the place. And he gives a command and they disappear, they reappear, and they, dis and they keep doing that for a while. And he says, look out over your left shoulder. So I do. And he says, what do you see? I says, I see nothing. I says, again. And he says, he gives his command. And oh my God, off in the distance. I can see it now a whole section of, from about 3 o'clock to 10 o'clock, of, the, of the, the dark in front of us, just opened up. And inside was the biggest, most ginormous city you could imagine. 
It, it was unbelievable. There was skyscrapers. There were, uh, oh, it, it's been done for infinity. And I was just there gobsmacked. And after a certain amount of time, it just closed back up again as if there was nothing there. And I was, there was a great silence after all that. And then I said, what's to become of me? And he says, you'll stay here with us like all the others. And I said, but I'll be no good to you. That'll kill me, I said. I'm a married man with four children. I adore my family. I'll be no good to you. And just like earlier on when I said, it comes into my head, I said, what would you, what would happen, what would you, would you, if you took me back and I could get my whole family to come and that way you'd have a whole family unit. And I could, I could actually see that he was pondering the question and I'd say he found it kind of, so all he said to me was, I'll think about it. So I felt, well, at least there's something. And uh, he floated on out of that room where we were. I can see him floating away now. Big, there's a cloak hanging down behind him. And I don't know how much time passes, but he says, he floats back in again to this, and he says, I have an answer to your question. He said, okay, we'll give you two weeks to get your things in order, but you have to listen very carefully. This is vitally important. All you are allowed to bring with you are the clothes you wear and under no circumstance whatsoever are you to bring any make, shape or form of money with you. He stressed that point and I says, okay. So he had, he said we'll have to make arrangements about how many would be coming and so on. So I, okay. That was, that was it, and uh, there was, before I remember leaving the, the company of this beautiful species, I pleaded with them for to, to give me something that I could prove to my family that, that it was what I was saying wasn't lies, it was the truth, and he's, this is all he said to me. He says, believe me, they will know. So I, I, I said, that was it like. So I know what I, it, it sounded at the time, maybe as an insult to them with all their technology. What I said to him, I, I, I was sorry for afterwards when I, but uh, it's too late now. I, uh, when I got home, I've, I've no idea how long the time passed, but what, what brought it all back to me was the coat I was wearing, the jacket I was wearing on the night. My brother Kieran, God rest him, he passed away since. And uh, he, he was visiting Palace Kenry where I lived, just back the road. And uh, he, was visit, he was coming to a funeral and he came into my house and my family were there and he says, is that your jacket? And I says, y yes, it looks like it anyway, I said to him. So he gave it to me and I looked at it and inside my pocket I had tax forums, or old tax forums, going back to the 80s. And they were still in it. I says, yeah, that's, that's mine. I says, why, why, where did you find it? So he says, uh, a, a work colleague found it, he says, on top of the regional hospital in Limerick. So 
that was the whole start of brought it brought all this back to me then in afterwards I was thinking and I was lying in bed for and I was going over it in my mind and over it in my mind and, and it came back to me in pieces and dribs and drabs. It, it took a hell of a lot a long time and uh, I, I eventually got to where I am today as much as I got together. Strange things was happening to me that I couldn't account for and uh, it, it's 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 unbelievable. All our governments want us to believe that we are alone, that there is no extraterrestrials out there. And uh, it, it's, it's just mind-boggling because they are out there, they are real, and now there's other stuff coming into my mind that I left out. Is in the late 40s, Two of my species were on a routine patrol. They had a malfunction in their craft and crashed. When we went to recover the craft, we could not find it anywhere. And that is when I said, yes, it crashed in Roswell, New Mexico. They took it to Area 51, miles underground. And this is what he said to me. He said, you speak from the heart. You are pure of heart. And I said, yes, I am. That made me feel so good for him to say that about me, because only God and myself knew that, that I was the way I was. So I relaxed a lot more. So your government has been lying to us from day one. They are still lying to us today, and it has got to stop. All the banks have been lying to us. They've been lying to us from day one, and it's, that has got to stop too. They, they use the people. They create all the misery and suffering and pain and death on the planet, because that's the way they control the people, they rule by creating all this friction and wars. They don't want peace and love and harmony and goodwill to all mankind. Because if they had that, their utopian lifestyle is no more. All this turmoil, this in the force at the moment with all the nations. There's, there's 50 million people displaced from their countries and their homes, and half of them are children. That is, that, that, that's, that's not the way. We are not civilized. We're supposed to be civilized, but we're not. We butcher and slaughter and rape and murder and kill our own species. We are only one species in this planet. We have different color skin and different religions, but that's nothing got to do with it. That's their own business. This, this cannot keep going. The banks are making trillions upon trillions in vulture funds, hedge funds, offshore accounts and it's a, at the cost of the ordinary citizen suffering in pain, misery, pain and death just to provide for them. Until such a time that we make the proper changes, put the people in, 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 in place of power that can do things that has a heart and a soul and want to live in harmony and peace for all our citizens, because time is running out.
850 years, he said to me, and our planet is going to be obliterated by an asteroid the size of Munster. Our governments will not tell us this because they have plunged every nation into debt for years, generations to come to, to pay for their space journeys and their satellites and they're looking for a new planet Earth. There is so much going on now in, in NASA and the European space all together the two of them. They have more, the, in between now and 19 or 2030, they have, uh, is it 30 yard trips with satellites and other spy to see what's, where is the, what's the cause of dark matter and dark energy. They don't know what it is. They haven't a clue, black holes and all that kind of thing. My belief is, after what this beautiful species E.T. showed me, that dark matter is an invisible cloak that separates us from their world. Dark matter and dark energy. All the scientists and the experts believe that 68% of the universe is missing because they can't account for it. But it's not missing. They, just because it's not where they think that it should be, or it's not created or made up of stars and, and planets and, and, and other stuff that makes up the gases and everything else. It's their ginormous cities, that's the dark energy. I'm, uh, Uh, can you stop it that? Fine. Black holes. It is my my belief, or my theory, or whatever, that black holes they create all. They they. It's in what they can do is unbelievable. They 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 can they can. Cr create. Invisibility, they have mastered invisibility in everything. Black, black holes, I believe that they, it's, it's more than a coincidence that black holes are, happen to be in the center of every galaxy. I believe that they, they, they use black holes for a whole load of different reasons. The one is the, the experts again can't explain entropy, and I believe that entropy in black holes is where all the material, construction material they need, they use for to create their ginormous cities, like the one they showed me. And that is 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 the experience in my theory entropy, and. Uh, what do you know by the term entropy? This is a science it, term. It, yes, you know it, it's. Uh, I've been for the last six years. I've been buying books and magazines all about uh, NASA and uh, European space and all that, and I've been reading them over and over and over. And entropy is is about all the, the what the dark holes suck in, and uh, where it. Where the can where is going like if 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 it can't account for it, and uh, only there recently I I read that now that the the, the experts again found out that uh, the 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 stuff that's disappearing into the black holes is actually bigger than the tortoise kind of dust and and fine. 
particles and things like that, but it's not. It's, they're actually bigger chunks than what they made out to be. So that's why I make out that they use the black holes for a whole lot of different reasons. I mean, I, I was standing there, I was breathing in, in you know, their air or whatever, and uh, I believe that they, 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 they can use them for, for air conditioning and all, all things like that. And as I say, the, the, the real big ones could be used for, to power up the cities and, uh, and, you know, use them like that. And the cities, when he, when he opened it up and showed it to me, it, it wasn't like the cities here on Earth, that you, you have all the, the glare and the, from, from the, 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 the amount of lights and that. It was, it was so soft and pleasing to the eye. I remember thinking, well, would it be something to do with the size of their eyes? I mean, that, these are ginormous, huge things, like. And, uh, and then I said, would it must be something to do with not to be detected through the invisible cloak so that we wouldn't see it like, if you know what I mean, our spaceships and our astronomers and things like that. So that, that's, that's why I make out anyway. But uh, the experts will probably, you know, say I'm talking through my head. But uh, we'll wait and see or whatever. Uh, Did, your, did the being give any idea of where this asteroid's coming from? Is there any way, any information they gave you which to, we could use to try and do something about it? Well, the, the, the 35th quadrant, I mean, all the, the guys in uh, Stephen Hawking and all those brilliant people will surely know the, you know, the 35th quadrant where it is in the heavens, or, you know, and uh, that, that, no, that, was, that was all that he said, that uh, it will approach your planet from the 35th quadrant. So uh, there's nothing more I can help there. Were they able to say anything more about Roswell? Where? The Roswell crash. Oh, uh, no, it just did, uh, uh, there was, in the late 40s, as I said, two, two of his species were on a routine mission and uh, they had a malfunction with their craft and crashed. And uh, they couldn't, when they went to recover the craft, they couldn't find it anywhere. And uh, that's, I said that uh, it, it, it uh, took it to Area 51 miles underground. And uh, he said, you, you know, you speak from the heart, you are pure of heart. Now, before you had this experience, did you have any interest in UFOs or things like this? Before? Oh, I, uh, I always knew that they had to be out there. They were there, like, you know what I mean, with all these. I was always fascinated with, with reading in the books and papers and about, about uh, other people having this experience or, or other types of experiences and, and, and taking photographs of strange things in the sky, you know. But all the experts will tell you that uh, oh, it is clouds or weather balloons and NASA again, of course, with their cover-up and things like that. They, they don't want us to know because people would, would have a belief then that there's something else out there that maybe there is hope yet that we would eventually, you know, sort ourselves out and... Uh, maybe save ourselves, but they don't, want any, they don't want to have anything to do with us. Now you said... Because of... Sorry. Sorry, the alien or the being, they didn't have a name? No, we didn't. We didn't uh, no, I didn't. I was... I, was uh, I, I faced my fears. When I was uh, being f taken out, floated out of, of, the, of the one, the first room I was in with the other people, I was... I face my fears, I face my fears, I face my fears. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Because 
when, going back in, when I was a teenager, the graveyard is just over the way there, and uh, there used to be big trees and all around. And at night when we used to go to the youth club, we used to be, the, the stories our parents used to tell us was, was, was frightening, like, you know, and uh, there was owls in the trees, and we used to run past through the graveyard, 18, 19 years of age, like, you know, and, <laughs> and uh, there were different times, of course. But, uh, and on the same on the way home, we used to be terrified, we used to run past through the graveyard. But my dad used to always tell me, or tell us, he used, he, he, he used to, he used, when he used to have a few drinks, he used to go in and sing at night in the graveyards. And uh, he said, you couldn't be in a, a safer place as to be in the graveyards. But still, we were terrified. But my dad died when I was 20, God rest him. Well, we were very close. And, uh, and, and uh, on the last, on the last years of, before he died, I used to walk him up to the pub. The pub was only a hundred yards further on than the graveyard, up at the hill here. Cause, and uh, I used to go up to collect him. Cause to, to take you ten minutes to walk up, but to take you a half an hour to come home, like you know. And sometimes he'd want to go in singing songs to the grave, to at the graves, like you know. And uh, but I used to be terrified. And uh, when he passed away, then I said. I want to go in to talk to my dad. I want to say prayers to my dad. And I said, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. I have to face my fears. I have to face my fears. So a couple of times I almost done it. I went in a small bit, but no. But this night anyway, I just went all the ways in. I was shivering, I was the sweat was running down my back. I just kept going, don't look behind you. You know, the fears, you, you, you say, oh, the, the devil is in here and everything and all that kind of thing, the stories you had. And uh, I got to the gravestone anyway, and I said my prayers and I spoke away to my dad. And I just came home. It took me about three minutes to get to here. And uh, ever since after that, I, was, I, I used to visit on a regular basis at night. and. Uh, and then when I started having a drink, I, I used to visit more often. And uh, I never sang songs though, but uh, it was, it was, it was, a, it was a, as I say, that to the whole story about on the sh ship when I woke up and going out into this new room, big room, I, f I said the same thing again. I have faced my fears. I have faced my fears. I can do this. I can do this. And that's what got me through it. And and I I I I changed my whole life, of course. But uh, now I'm on my own, and, and and this keeps me going. When I was up there, I wanted to be back here with my family. But now that I'm here, I'm on my own. I want to go. I want them to come and take me away again. You know. But uh, oh, I suppose it Do doesn't. Do you think that you had an experience a lot earlier that don't recall it? I don't. That I don't know. But I, I've, I've, I've had a lot of things in my life. I have, uh, I was only a pound and a half when I born, and I was in an incubator for for six months. The doctor was told said that uh, when he got here, that the mother was in a, in a bad way. She, mom, I, I was the youngest, I would say sixteen then, but uh, mum had a lot of children. And she, and she had a couple of, of uh, infant deaths along the way as well. But, uh, uh, and I had, I had pleurisy meningitis when I was 12. I, 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 I had, I was messing over across the road there when I was six and a big stone fell on my back. I've, 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 I've had pneumonia how many times? I've got to kiss a life once. And uh, so I, I make out that it was all leading up to this moment, if you know what I mean, that, uh, that my God and my guardian angel has been watching over me. Thanks God for that. And uh, I do believe that they're still doing, and this is my, for this very reason that, that you come now and help me to do this. this. It's not for me, it's for the whole world, the, all the people of the planet, what the suffering they're going on. We, have, we, we are not civilized. 
we we haven't we we surely f we're, we're not here for we're here for more than this like we're not here just to serve those that be at the top because the, the, every one of them they're all tyrants they, they, they're not they don't care about you and me and ordinary people because they're killing us every day they don't seem to they don't seem to care they, they, they they have what they want. They're living their utopia life, and they, they tell us that. Oh, we'd love if we if we could have a utopian way of life for everyone, but we can't because that's not the way it is in the real world. But when they're living it all the time, they have they pay for nothing, and the people are bound down to them, making gods out of them. They think they're god. They they have the power to give life and save life and take life, so they. They just don't give two. Not, there's no law there. They they have they have diplomatic immunity. They have uh, they passed laws back after the Second World War saying that it would never happen again, and it has gone worse. Just we're only 16 years into a new millennia, and nothing has changed. Just like the ones gone before, as E.T. said, all you have excelled at is global warfare and lying to your species. And 16 years into the, the last millennia, by the way, this this is this is we're still the same. It's getting worse even. So and there's is it 50 million people gone from their own countries because of war created by the powers that be that supposed to be looking after the welfare of the planet of the people. They they just they don't care. They 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 know. The planet is, 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 hasn't long left, so they don't give a flying fickle finger of fear. They're, they're taking what they can out of it, they're using, taking the oil, they're, now they're introducing fracking, all these things, they want to take everything. They're more interested in mining a asteroids and all this kind of carry on, and building hotels in the moon, and, and sending the rich guys at, at 250,000 a trip. When people are starving here, dying for thirst and uh, uh, living on the sides of the streets in 2016, they have not a bed. My God, we are not civilized. Now, in the craft, I want to concentrate in the, in the craft. It, it, I mean, was it a craft or was it a, some kind of place here that you could enter again? No, it, it was a, it was a craft. They, they, when when they, the, the first time he told me to look out, there was there was a, a, a lot of them outside. If you know what I mean. Uh, could you describe what a lot of them? What what did that look like? I know you've done it, some it, paintings, yeah, but yeah, it 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 was. Uh, do you know, like the, when the air the airplanes fly in formation, they were clustered together. That death, it was like that, and. Uh, I mean, it, how many? Maybe five or six or. Yeah, well, uh, in, yeah, in my, yeah, there, there was about that, yeah, small, but they, they, hadn't, they weren't all over the place, like, you know, but uh, he, he gave a command and they disappeared, reappeared, or reappeared and disappeared. They done that several times, and... Uh, How did they do that? Can you describe any shape? No, 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 the, 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 he, didn't do, he didn't do any, he just said s something like, you know what I mean, and uh, they had just disappeared. No, uh, I don't know what you mean. Could you describe it? Oh, the, you... they were there, and next minute they weren't there, if you know what I mean. And uh, they were there again, and they were gone. And they, they, they kept... Re Did they blink out or fade out? Or come they just, out? just like, uh, like you could do with the television today with, with the special effects thing. They're just like that. They were there, they were gone, they were there, they were, they were back again, and, you know. And... Uh, then he says to, to look out over my left shoulder and he went on to show me the, the other thing. Do you have any idea why the hospital? I have no idea, none whatsoever. As I said to you, uh, I got two weeks, but by the time my brother came back to me with the jacket, so much of the time had gone by that I, it was too late by the time I was putting these things together. I was, uh, I used to go out for a drink with my family. And uh, I, they used to be embarrassed. 
because I used to be in the pub. We could be there having a game of pool or a game of darts, and uh, all of a sudden, all I, it was like it just came over me, and I'd take the money out of my pockets, I'd leave it on the table, and I'd be, I'd be walking out of the pub down the main street, down to where it happened, and several times that was that was which was then I was putting it all together that they were they were showing me they were uh, more or less telling me but I it was it was it, it took too long it, do you know what I'm trying to say it was uh, it hadn't it hadn't clicked in time but my family didn't when they all thought I was you know away with the fairies yeah. and uh, so. I was. I wanted to go back again on my own. Anyway, I have to ask you: Have you had an experience with the fairies? Have you been away with the fairies? No, 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 just not, no. This is my only. Yeah. No, some people are. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I, 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 I read the the, 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 the stories there on television about the, the, this person that they made a lovely story about a film about it and and to so real and everything like you know, but uh, no, uh, no, I, I, I don't. I'm not saying that there. What about this thing that you, the, the machine, or yeah, it is. Can uh, you give any more detail or? Yeah, um, when uh, I wasn't lying flat, I was, I it was kind of more like a, a dentist chair kind of a thing. I'd say I was in, you know. When they placed the the device on my head, it was going over my face. I could see in to the inside of it and there was a pattern of a, a, a brain like when you take the brain out of a person's head and you see all the, the little designs in it and there was routed uh, pattern on it the shape of, of, of the, those little segments and it they put it on my head it, it, it roasted my head and I passed out but I, I can see the the, the the pattern on it, the marks it left in my hair, it is it is uh, and there's humps and bumps there and and there's kind of little little kind of holes where you can feel it, and uh, is there's it time the back of your head? yeah here on my head yeah that's why I keep my hair cut so short because it it, it it grew it was like crop circle dust pattern on it like you know it was it was like pets through my hair. And uh, so I, I just want to keep it cut so sharp. And so, I mean, uh, if you were to grow your hair long yes. now, would it leave a pattern to this day? Yeah, you, yeah, you can you can see it. It is it, it, short and high, like you know, it grows long. And just uh, three fingers there, but you can't see it in the daylight. It it's mostly at at, at night light. In the, 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 you know, in, in, say the the the, the Do bulb. Do you think they did they leave anything inside you? Uh, yes, I have a feeling there is because uh, there's. I I can just like do 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 in my head at night time in the mornings I'd be listening to it. It keeps me I'd be I'd be listening to it and it keeps me amused and uh, it 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 also my whole body it uh, if anyone ever got burned with nettles and the feeling that you you afterwards it stays with you and uh, my feet my back my my, my hands, it, it, it all gets that way, that burny, hot feeling. And at times, uh, I often wonder if, I, if, I, if I'd uh, catch fire, you know, combustion, whatever you call it. You know, the, uh, and I've had, I can feel the force, it would be there. And like the other day I was out now, Cutting the grass, and 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 it was a beautiful one of the warmest days we had this year. And I was I was giving thanks to the heavens, and I was offering up. God created the heavens and the earth, all things visible and invisible, as they say. And I'm grateful for Him letting me see some of the invisible things. And I was there saying, "My, use the force, be one with the force, harness the force." It's all around you. It's in everything. It's part of you. 
you are part of it, feel the force, be one with the force, harness the force. I was there for four or five minutes, sitting there, and sitting on my hands, the palms of my hands, just like as if you got a magnifying glass, and like we used to do as kids, burn paper, and it, it got so hot that I, 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 I just did that. But when I did that, it, it was like a, a jump start that you get in, in the hospitals with, with these things, you know? And then I, I, I done that, and I could feel the, the force between the two hands, and they were, that fell apart, like, you know? Did you and, see that? I, no, I, that's the, I couldn't see. At, at times, I mean, wish that I could, like, you know? And, and that, of course, that's what comes into your mind, like, where is this going to go? Like, is it, is it going to get worse? Is it going to get better? But I've, I've, I've had strange, all different types of... Uh, I'd be sitting here at times I'm, yes. uh, when I'm on my own. And I just, it just, the feeling comes over me, and I just... And all of a sudden, I can get the f tingling and the feeling in the hands and the... F and it's like there's half beat in a tin of my fingers. I can feel the, the pulse in each of my f ting fingers. And when I, if I move them a certain way, it, 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 it gets stronger and it vibrates more. And I do that a lot. And sometimes I get, it gets a hot, warm feeling. But there was only once now it happened, and it was like as if, if you took them out of the fridge. You could feel the, the coldness. It was it was it was unreal, and you, I'd bring him to my face then, and I could feel it in my face as well. And but but these things have been happening, and I, I don't know. It's it's uh, maybe it is something that, like you said. Believe me, they will know. Like so, I don't know. Maybe as I grow older, maybe I might be able to do more something unusual or whatever. Like you know, but. Uh, one thing happened to me shortly afterwards that uh, my sister, Elizabeth, she had, uh, I've never told this to her a living soul. Sorry, my sister was home last week, I told her. Uh, she was diagnosed with cancer and she was only given three months. So I came over visiting anyway from my, my own home and uh, when she was down in bed, and uh, I said to my sister, other sister, I says, "Is it okay if I, if I have some time alone with her?" And she says, "Okay." I says, "I says uh, the way I put it to her was, I said, I'm the seventh son, like you know, maybe I try something, like you know." So I was, I went, waved my hands all over her body for a certain amount of time. And I, I gave my thanks to the Lord, and I asked to, to, to heal her, cure her. And she's still with us, God bless her. This is 13 years later. And I've, I, I couldn't go to funerals afterwards. A lot of people died that I, I was afraid to go to funerals because all I wanted to do was, was to see if I could make him sit up in the box and talk and say hello. And uh, my brother even wouldn't let me do it. I wanted to do it to him before he died. And uh, I've been that way ever since. And it's an awful way to be. I, 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 I get scared. And I just don't know where it's going to lead to, like, you know. Maybe. Have you thought of going with your feelings and following Yes, I have. The, the little voice in the head. Yes, I, I have. I, I, I know people now that's not well. And uh, my wife actually, well, my ex-mother of my children, our children, she was diagnosed there with leukemia. She's, she's got the all clear. And uh, I, I said, the force is with you and be with you and all that kind of thing. But, so please, God, you know, I, I, I do. I, I, I want to do it, but you've got to think of how people react, like, you know? Yeah. 
it's 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 it's, it's kind of a double-edged sword kind of a thing. Well, have you felt that just letting your energy flow, let it? Yes, yeah, just that by transferring it to them kind of a thing. Yeah. Yes, I, I I do, yeah. Maybe you've got it. I don't know. I I, I don't you know. Just yeah. Do. yeah. I I I do uh, all when I'm on my own as I'm on my own a lot. Uh, I I do on bed in bed and, and uh, I find I was always a religious person. I was always uh, a pacifist. Of course, I I hate all types of violence towards everybody and anybody and any living creature. But uh, I, I, it has been in the back of my mind a lot lately because I know people that's not well, and I wonder if I should approach them, you know. So, if you ask them, yes, for permission, sometimes yeah. that can. You just yeah. ask them, would you like me to help you? Or? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, as, as much as I, yeah, I often say not to lose. So that, that's the way I'd be. Just the way I'd be telling myself, but again, just to pluck up the courage and and and, and go. Like, okay. You know. uh, when did you first tell your story to to other people? Oh, I went. Uh, I went. Oh, I went to the the, the Limerick leader in 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 Limerick, and a, a lovely English chap. He was running it, and uh, he was lovely. Now he really had listened to me in that, but I didn't have the, the research done that I have done now. And I didn't, I didn't quite know what I know. I haven't, I hadn't put together as, as completely as I have today. Like, and uh, at the time, I uh, there was a, a, an article in the paper. I used to be drinking, then you see. I don't drink anymore. Seven years now, of it. But uh, I didn't have the drink problem. But I used to like a drink. But uh, there was an article in the paper, and it was about this. A teenager up in Galway, I think it was Galway, and uh, he, there was a device taken out of his head, but the experts said it's not from this planet. But I, I never cut out the piece, the thing out of the paper, and keep, I kept it. Uh, and I, I, I tried to go into the, to, to the papers where you can get look at them, look them up and. And you put my eyes, I can't see what my eyes are not great, like, you know. And, uh, but I, I was, I was, a, I was sorry that I didn't. But then I, I, I got in, into buying the books, as I was telling you about NASA and, 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 and the European Space Station and all these things and the European space. And, uh, so I, I, I started reading all those things and putting it together. And uh, that's why I came up with uh, what it sounds so like, much like dark matter, dark energy, entropy, the whole shebang, like, you know, it all started to kind of fall into place like, like a jigsaw. It's like, it's like what's falling into place now with uh, the Brexit and uh, all, all this thing about you're going to have a global financial meltdown, he said to me. And it's falling into place. And th there isn't a thing that can do about it. There's forces at hand here and it's out of their control. It's just, it's just going to happen. I mean, who would ever think that you'd have a president like, like um, Trump at the moment? Like, if, if he gets in, or, or, or Clinton gets in, I mean, let's be honest, they're not right in the head, any of the two of them. Uh, uh, they're not. So... <laughs> I mean, How do you... Is there anything that these beings or this being said, which could help ordinary people try to make a difference. Do what I'm like. What I'm doing now. Get get out there and do what you have to do. Because if I if I kept all this to myself, people won't know. They wouldn't know what's going on. That that uh, in two thousand in 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 one right. Uh, in, after this happened to me, in 2002, I was listening out for everything that had got to do with finance in the world in, that I heard in the news. And the first thing that grabbed my eye was, or my attention, was 
in, in, in the States, Wall Street, of course. And uh, you had, I think, I know, is it, is it Fannie Mae or something? Some bank? It could be, the name could be wrong now, but it sounds like that Fannie Mae or Sally Mae or something like that. And you had uh, Gold, Goldman Sachs and uh, Lieberman's. They were the start, the, 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 the things that happened then, that there was m hundreds of millions involved. And uh, I said, this is it, it's the start of it, it's happening. But then, come on here, then fast forward to our own disaster. You had, uh, you had Cyprus, you had Iceland, then you had ourselves. And of course, the banks, the, 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 the Wall Street, the guys that are running these things, they, they put, put it blimp to people for overspending. And, uh, but should they, they were throwing truckloads of money to people, like setting it up. It, 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 it's a whole setup. It's, it's like the, the show the carrot, and people were, were, were swallowed it hook, line, and sinker. And uh, they were being used. And now they're, they're in debt for generations to come. But the tiny the thing is, we don't have generations to come. There's only 835 years left or whatever. The way things are going, it might be less. Because you, you have North Korea now, and, and, and again, setting up this and nuclear weapons, t testing them. So it's, 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 it's Were whole. you at all visited by any strangers uh, since then? Or, or, can, or even y before yes. then? I, I, I've, 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 uh, I wake up a lot at night. I, 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 I don't, I, 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 least thing wakes me up. Plus the, my head is, is, is constantly racing now, not like before, it just never, you know, I was an easy type of girl, but now it's, it's in motion all the time. And uh, I, there was, I thought there was someone else in the room with me. And uh, I, I, I could swear that I saw <laughs> someone I just said, you mentioned the other one, I forgot you mentioned the other one, small people. It's like that there was a whole three or four in the room with me. And I said, oh my God, I said, what's happened to me? And, uh, but that was only, that only happened once. And was that uh, recently? No, 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 this is, a, this is a few years ago now. But uh, it's uh, a... few years, you're talking about ten years? No, a couple of years ago. Oh, right. Oh, a couple of years ago. Uh, but uh, it, then ever, everything took a whole different view when, 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 when this happened to me. Nothing was, was, was real anymore, nothing was the same anymore. You, you, you saw everything in a different light. If, 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 if a book fell off the shelf, you'd, well, you know, what the Christ is that like, you know? You, 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 you think straight away. Are they here? Are they back again? You know, so uh, that's the way I am, kind of a thing. Now it's, it's you know, uh, where there's a whole logic reason for these things happen, or whatever. Uh, the wind has opened, or uh, the wind blew in and blew it off. But you know, that's the where I am. It's, it's, it's you, you think differently. And Have you had any uh, strange animal experiences, or birds, or anything that? Or no, horses or any other animals, have they? No, I find uh, I'm always out there calling, whistling to the birds and, and the, the starlings and, and, and the crows and things like that. Like, and they, 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 they come around a lot, all right, but uh, oh, that's about all. I, I, love, I love nature. And, you know, sometimes you think they're answering you back, like, but, you know. <laughs> it's well, uh, what I'd like to do next is uh, you've done some. Uh, Paintings. And yeah, I, I've done a, a, a lot of sketches. Reset, maybe get the paints. Right. Yeah. Describe your experience with, with that. Oh, right. Uh, okay. And I think there's something outside. Yeah. Go ahead. There is. Yeah. Have we got one Catherine question. here? Yeah, yeah. It's Katarina here. Speak close to that. Okay, um, Jerry, you, you um, described your experience when you've been outside and praising the force. So how 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 did you come to do this? Like. 
I, 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 again, it's like I say, it's, it's the, what's going on inside my head. The, it's, it's like the, the ideas seem to come to me. I don't know from where or why, because I, 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 I am not the brightest star in the heavens, but I, 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 I shine from time to time, you know. And, uh, but, like for instance, uh, in the spectrum of time, the lifespan of mere mortals is but the blink of an eye. That came to my in about three or four o'clock in the morning. I just jumped up out of bed and said, gee, that sounds nice. I must write that down. So I did. I don't know if, if anyone else is kind of phrase or whatever, but that's mine. <laughs> so uh, it just it just comes into my head. And there's other things there now that I, I lately I've been writing, and I'd be I'd be off now cutting the grass or, or or doing things. And see, that sounds good. I'll write that down. You know. So the the, the things just been coming to my head, like you know, and. Uh, uh, hopefully it, it, might, it might lead to some other things, like, you know. But I can't see myself writing a book yet, because I'm not, uh, my spelling isn't great. It's not where I'd like it to be, but uh, I have a dictionary. And Jerry, you told me before, because we talked before this interview, and you told me that they, they told you, or this, this being, or ET told you about using the Force. Can you tell us more about it? Yes. Uh, all right, yes. Uh, use the f unless you use the force, be one with the force, harness the force. If you don't, you're going to go the same way as the dinosaur. If we keep going to the direction we're going in, which is true. You, 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 if you don't cre create a, a, a do a 180 degree turnaround, that's where you're going to wind up the same place as the dinosaur. But the best way I can explain this, uh, Catherine, I explained this to you before already, is, uh, is, is you take planet Earth, right? And you, you, put, you can imagine it with a, a giant Rapunzel type hairpiece on it. And the way it has been from day one is every nation on, on Earth has a fish of that hair piece and every individual in each nation citizen has a, a strand of it and you're pulling this way and you're dragging that way and everyone is pulling and dragging against each other but what needs to be done is to wash that hair piece find comb it again and again and again until you comb out all the evil and the corruption that's going on and when you have that done you plait it together as one. You weld that plait together as one, and all the people, all the nations, come together, work together for the greater good of the one species. We are only one species, and soon to be extinct if we do not come together, use the force, be one with the force, harness the force. Otherwise, it's it's it's. Lights out, game over. Okay, well on that particular point, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll reset. Okay, this is the drawing of me inside the dome. And when he opened up the, the section, it was like inside here was the, the, the whole ginormous city. And what sort of section are we talking about? And you've got, uh, the, that's you on the left side? Yeah, that's me, yeah. But this is, a, <laughs> you know, it's only just an idea to, sh to give you, to show to people that... Uh, so that is the blackness yeah, of the space? Yeah, the blackness. And he, he, he gave his command, and uh, all of a sudden he just folded down like this, and inside was this ginormous city. It, it, it was, as I say, it was from 3 o'clock to, to 10 o'clock, and it... It was to be done for infinity, and but that's when I got this view of of, of extraterrestrial. This is a fantastic picture you've got here. Yeah. Uh, I was pleased with that one when I found the material. To, it, it suited the. Uh... Okay, explain about that. As I say, when, when he opened up this this section, it let in on the bit of light of what there was, and 
this was the view that I got from the extraterrestrial head. It was the, the best view I got in the whole the whole time I was with him. And uh, the, 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 this, the, the skin and makeup is, is like something similar to a, a rattlesnake or a sidewinder. It, it, it's, it's all little circles and they are, they are black, by the way, and uh, beautiful. And I, 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 that's my best drawing. <laughs> So, so it, it's exactly as they look exactly as you. Yes, that's that's the, the when I got the light coming in. That, so, was still so you haven't painted this in black and white. It's because it is like that. Well, it's, the, the the white background highlights the the shape of the of the, right. the color of the other head. paintings to it, show the, us. Yeah. Okay. Because because it was quite dark, so that's why I couldn't see too well. Could you point out to some of the detail on that? I see you've got swirls and different designs. Yeah, Did you actually see I, that? I, I seem to be getting better at it as the more I do, and uh, it, it just like all little tiny washers or some kind of effect on them. And uh, it it was. Are these things like ears or something? Or no, like like little tiny washers, but the, the, the skin is covered with them, like scales. You know, it's the same type of uh, as the, the, the rattlesnake or the, or the sidewinder snake. And this is the mouth and the nose. The, the, the very petite nose and the mouth is so tiny, you know, a finger is all going in there. And they have the, the very streamlined, the face, the, their ears. They have, they have no uh, sticky out ears or wing nuts or anything like that. It's just a, a hole with a kind of a little bit of skin kind of indentation around it so for okay. instance um you've got a pattern there is that are yeah. those ears or what just one yeah second. that's just uh, to highlight uh, okay the, i'm the just the on, was, that, on that now yeah. could you point to that and explain yeah. what that is this, uh, just a, a, a small hole for an ear but they don't have sticky out wing nut ears like like we do uh, they they're just it's, it's streamlined the, the, with the side of the, the, the head, like, you know, and uh, it's just there's a little bit of skin, all right, it's raised from uh, around the ear. You've got other circular areas, do they mean something? No, it's just, it's just uh, to, to give it a, a bit of, you know, added beauty. And when did you actually do this painting? This is my latest one now, and I I I, I want to do a couple more with with uh, with more with more circles in them. If you know what I mean. I have a couple of smaller ones over there. <laughs> okay, well let's see those. Okay, describe. You've got these magnificent three paintings. Just concentrate on those black and white ones. Right. Okay, we're going to do it as I take. I seem to be wanting to keep, do more and more of these because I, I, I think they're lovely myself actually. But I've been putting these circle things into to, to give it more. Now these are your recent paintings. Yeah, these ones, yeah. What's driving you to do this? I, I just want to get them, to do them justice, to, to make them look as beautiful as, 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 as they look to me. They're, they're unbelievable. They're, the reason they don't want to have anything to do is, is because they are a lovely, peace-loving species. They don't want any war. That's why they don't want anything to do with us, because of our... What creator. kind of height are these? What can, are the rest of them like? What? I, the, the only one I remember of height, but I, I, again, I could see no hands or feet. It was when he floated out of the, the room and there was this big cloak down to the floor, down to the ground, but it was a nice height, I said to be about six foot, maybe more even, but uh, that, that was all, I, other than that I'd never seen actually hands in, in, and feet or legs or anything like that, but uh, when they were up in, in, in inside on this, uh, this seat kind of control seat thing, I couldn't see anything, only, only the head above, I was looking up at the uh, from where I was looking up, all this is the view that I got. All I could, the eyes just seemed to be 
you know, they were going going back to the curve of the of the head that I but I couldn't see that at the time until they opened up the and I got that view. But this was the view that I had when I first went in and and uh, was looking up at, at him. Now this is clearly in colour. Is that the colour they are? No, no, they're, they're black. But I just I just done that for effect again because I didn't. Uh, I, 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 I was only experimenting at the time, to be honest with you. But this, this is uh, this is the real. I'm happy with these now, and this is telling as as close as I can to what they actually were. Now, uh, the white section of the eye is that like a pupil, or is it light shine? Is it like gleaming? No, it's, yeah, it's just a, well, it's just a, a, gl a glare. You know, the artist. It's a glint. glint. The glare. You know. Okay. It's, so it's not like. No, they were totally black. Okay. Actually, when you see the nature programs on, 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 on television, when you see the, the gawala bear, or, or, or the gawala up the tree, and their big eyes, and they're wet, and they look as they're crying, that was, that was, that effect, like, they were just so black, and beautiful, and, and mirror type. It was unbelievable. Okay, now, what angle is this that we're looking at? What's this? This is, uh, when I said, remember when I panicked, and I, he asked me what would I like to see, and all I could think of came into my head was the North Pole. And uh, this is, we didn't actually land in the North Pole. This is the view that of, he showed me of the polar caps and, and the planet Earth, which is unbelievable. Anyone that's, that, the astronauts that's been up there, I'm sure they can understand where I'm coming from. That it's actually beautiful. I was standing in awe looking at that when he told me all that, what he told me. And uh, again, it's just my way of doodling and, and, and putting it all down in print and keeping it uh, in, in, a, in a kind of a diary or whatever. And so, so when, when he uh, showed you the other, uh, the other city, this veil yeah. that he pulled back, was it like a view screen you're looking at, or just yeah, just like you open a, a curtain or, and it. Behind was, was the, the giant harvest city, unbelievable. And uh, when it closed back up, there was nothing there. It was just jet black, pitch dark. And uh, that was it. And uh, I was, my chin was down in the, my boots, and I was there gobsmacked. I couldn't, you know. It was, as I said, there was a great silence for how long. And uh, fuck. this one. Okay. Of what the most important picture here is? This is the, the one with the asteroid approaching from the, the 35th quadrant. Our experts will, will know more about it than, you know what I mean? The, you know what I'm trying to say, but uh, I just had to get it down and, 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 and that's, that's the best I could do. So, I mean, this. These wonderful pictures you've got are just different colours of the same. Yes, it, at the start I didn't know what I was doing actually. I didn't know how, how to work out, but then I got better at it and I got it closer and closer to the nearest possible shape that, I, that, that, that suited my memory. And uh, that, that second one there is, is one of the first ones that I was really pleased with. And uh, as I say, I walked on up to the, to the, the real Black as they are, they are black in, 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 in appearance, and uh, maybe that's another reason why they were kept hush hush. They don't want people to know that they're black. God bless them. Now, the, you have a visualization there of the other ships. Is that what they look like? The other, yeah, the, the, uh, there was the, the, the were silver, yeah, and uh, the. the, the they were more kind of, you know, streamlined than that. But that was that was my 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 interpretation of it. And when did you start doing these pictures? When I stopped drinking. Okay. I uh, I had to have something to take up my time and winter nights and. Now, what what led you to stop drinking? What. Because if I kept, if I, if, if I, my friend, God rest his soul, I used to go out drinking. I used to never drink during the week, but I used to, I used to drink during the week, weekends. And I used to 
I'd probably be classed as a binge drinker. I wouldn't go out for one or two drinks. I'd, 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 have, I'd have to have a gallon, you know, before I, I'd go to my happy place. Are you suggesting you would have more than three? Oh yes, I, 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 wouldn't, go out, I wouldn't go out for three drinks. I'd never touch the small stuff, I'd find the Guinness. You so. just stuck with the Guinness? Yeah. Yeah. So. So it was, you were able to stop, this was a shock for oh you? Oh yeah, I, I never had a, it, it never ruined my life. I, I never, when I was working, I'd never drink the night before I was going back to work and that like, you know. But I, I used to, Friday and Saturday would be my, my days to myself kind of a thing and I'd have a few drinks. And, uh, so did this inspiration come to, to yes, do this art? Yes, when I, as I say, when I gave up the drink, uh, which was easy enough to me, and uh, I just had to get something to fill in the time and uh, the lonely nights, and uh, I started off and I was, I started to see that I was getting close to where I wanted to be and uh, I'm very pleased with, with these and I, I'm happy and they're as, as good as I can get I'd say. And because each one of these is remarkably similar, I mean I think this one with the, um, the red one uh, has got different facial features, is that? It, it has, it's just to, to give it a kind of a, I, 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 again I didn't know what I was doing, there are some of the earlier ones but uh, it's like I said, with the eyes going up and stopping there is the view that I got when I was looking up because of the, the, sh the shape of their, their head and uh, just, the, just, just the, the, the appearance I got. And uh, Okay, this is our close now. Right. What single thing do you want to tell people that, about this? What's the main thing? Well, I, we've been lied to from day one by our governments, every one of them, not just a few of them, all of them. All the banks have been lying to the people and they've been living high off of it. They've been living in utopia and they're, they're starting the wars, conflict, s spreading hatred amongst the, the citizens of the planet so that it gives them self-importance. It looks, makes them look as if we need them, we don't need them. If anything, we can get on just fine without them. But we need we probably need someone with heart and soul for the people of the planet for the little time we have left. And believe me, it's very little compared to what the millions of years that's gone by. And if we don't change, we're all going to go the same way as the dinosaur. That's all I'm trying to let people know. And if people use the force, be one with the force, harness the force. There are billions of us, there's only a few of them. So we have to get it right. And we have to start doing it today. Not tomorrow, not next week. Today, we got to put things right. They're getting together, 200 of them again, like they did last year, for another party at the expense of the taxpayers. And they'll live it up and they'll go back to their jobs and the same old story, same old ding dong again. They swallowed us, they believed us. They'll forget about it in a couple of more weeks. They'll think of something else. And that's the way we do it. That's the way it's been happening. We have got to change. And thanks to these people that are helping me today, and hopefully we'll, by doing this we are helping all our species. Thank you very much. I love you all. And thank you. Great. Well, thank you, Catherine, for bringing us to this great guy. Did you any comments you want to add? Um, no, I'm just glad that you could speak. You know, I found him on the internet actually <laughs> because of people that came for me Wonderful for sessions, people. and I just wanted to have some more information about people who have these experiences, and then you know everything came in rolling. It was. Actually, just I think it's just meant to be. Yeah, I think so too, yeah. Because, yeah. Good. Well, why don't we go to the main art exhibit of the area, over here. <laughs> <laughs> and it's on a trampoline. Yeah, it is a trampoline. Now, did you use this trampoline to jump up to catch the flying saucer? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm having a laugh here. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your art, you would... Yeah, this is one of the first ones I've done. And uh, I just... Used again. I love. 
I hate waste. I love using things. And uh, the trampoline had spent its life. And so I used, that's what I used it for. I uh, recycle things. And, and, that's, that's and what better thing. way to recycle than to have this? Yeah. that came into my mind and uh, I just had again recycling stuff there was things left over from the job in the house and I, I just put them into the rather than have a boring concrete pad I said I'd put something in to add a bit of a bit of colour to the house yeah you know so but this is I, this image is clearly very very distinct in your mind yes yeah. but I mean you couldn't, you couldn't forget something like that could you you know what I mean, when, when you, your whole species is dependent on it, and you, so what do you do, like, I'm only trying to help.